In this full course, you're going to learn how to build a website for a dental clinic, a health facility, or maybe a health practitioner. If any of these things sounds interesting to you, just stick around to the end of the video because at the end, you'll be able to build a website like this for your clinic or your health center. Okay? And the most exciting thing is that we'll be able to add a WhatsApp chat system on the website so that your clients will be able to click here and communicate with your facility directly. Okay. We'll be able to showcase a lot of things on the website. So all these are going is going to be done in this single video. So just stick around and see how we're going to do it. Right now, I'm going to walk you through and show you what the website is made of. Okay. So to your left, you can see your website name and this is also your logo. And to your right, you can see menus. With the menus, you have home, book appointment, our services, about us, and testimonial. Now, this website is going to be a generic business website. So after completing this tutorial, I guarantee it's a guarantee that you should be able to build any generic business website. So this is a generic video tutorial or training. Now below you have two columns and with the two columns, the one at the left contains your heading with some short description as well as call to action. A button they can click to learn more and to the right, you can see an image showcasing what you offer or what you do as a health center. Okay. And this is a dental clinic. Okay. Scroll down, you can see your certifications. Okay. To the right. See that? Now you can display companies or different health sectors you have partnered with or your clients here after that below you can see your location you can talk about your facility here you can click here to learn more and below they can book an appointment email you or call you and we will be able to display our phone number here Scrolling down, we have about us area of the website. This, this is where you talk more about your service. And you have some reviews and ratings here. Okay. As well as your services, the services you offer as a health practitioner or a health center. And why people trust you. You can also feature that here and a button they can click. And this button is linking to a video you can click and link and watch a video about your health center now here are some key studies on the site and here is a testimonial area okay as well as your team and below is a newsletter okay now i will display a form here so that they can enter their email address, click on submit and you collect their emails. And below is your address as well as your contact details and your email. Now, finally, we have a footer area displaying your copyright text as well as your company name and designed by maybe your company. So if this sounds interesting and you want to learn how to build this amazing website, Stay tuned because right now I'm going to be showing you or uh, walking you around how what well, the things you need in order to get started building a website like this. Now, this is also another important area of the site or feature of the website. Now, with these links, if a user clicks on book now, it will take the user to a particular area of the website and these are called anchor menus okay so let me take you back 
now if someone clicks on services it will take you to that portion of the website as well as your about okay it takes them directly to the about area now your website has certain features and i'll be showing you how to add movement effects on the website so if you reload the page you can see this area of the website is uh this is called slide right okay slide left okay now below you can see that some of the sections of the website are moving in certain way and that's movement effects on the or motion effects on the website and i'll be teaching you how to do that to make your website stand out and look attractive you can see that that part of the site the footer area it bounces in you can see that so let's get started creating this website let me show you the things you need in order to build your website okay so before you can build your website this amazing website there are two things you need a domain name and web hosting if you are confused let me explain now when we talk of a domain name a domain name is your website address your website name.com facebook.com is a domain name google.com is a domain name so these are addresses or urls people are going to be typing on browser to get or to land on your website and that is the number one thing we need to get started the second piece to it is web hosting. Web hosting is nothing but a cloud storage where we can keep our website files for the website to go live. And we need these two things in order to get the tutorial uh, started or to continue with the tutorial. All right, so I have a link in the description which will take you to makigohost.com and it is a web hosting provider we're going to be using in this video tutorial. To build our websites our clients my clients websites my own website this demo website i showed you are all hosted on mcqhost.com i also have a an offer for you and it is a partnership with mcqhost.com to give you my viewers 50 percent of their hosting services or hosting plans so take action right now okay now, the speed and performance of your website mainly depends on the hosting provider you pick. Okay, so you have to also bear in mind before ordering web hosting. Make sure you go with a reputable web hosting provider. So, after clicking on the link in the description, it will take you to a page just like this. You can read more about makigohost.com. Now, scroll down to this portion of the page professional hosting plans and shared hosting we need to purchase their shared hosting in order to host our website okay now you click on other hosting and it will take you to their shared hosting page just like this okay read more about their shared hosting but right now, the part I want to show you is their packages, okay? So choose your preferred plan, okay? High-speed web hosting provider. Because you are building one website, you need Go Basic plan, okay? With Go Basic, you can only host one website with 20 SSD storage. Now, if you don't know what SSD is, let me send you to Google, okay? So you can open new tab and type search ssd so ssd versus hdd click on it now with the first uh image this one click on it if you cannot find it go to images and this first image just click on it perfect now with this storage 
technologies, we have SSD and HDD. If a web hosting provider does not offer SSD but HDD, please run away from that hosting provider because your website is going to load slow. Okay. Now see, when it comes to performance, SSD loads faster than HDD. Okay. So that's what I want to show you in this part of the video. All right. So go back to the hosting page. Okay. Now, click on other hosting. You can read more about this. And also remember that after other hosting, you're going to, be, to get free domain name. Okay. A free .com domain name for one year. Now click on other hosting. Now it will take you to a page just like this. This is where you're going to register your website name. So let's say uh, new website. So we will enter our website name here. Go ahead and enter your own website name here. Do not copy me. I want to, you, because of tutorial purposes, I'm entering this name here. But you should enter your website name here. Okay. So, so maybe let's say new site 2022. Now, if you want .com, you can choose it here, .net. So you click here and choose your TLD. These are called TLD. But I want a .com, so I'll leave it as it is and click on check. Check. So you will go ahead and check to see if this name is available for us to register. Okay. Unfortunately, this domain name is already in use. Okay. So you have to try again. So you enter something, maybe solo new site 2022 and check again congress and this time around our name is our domain name is available we can claim ownership of this name okay so after seeing something like this click on continue perfect it will take you to a config page showing your package as well as a billing cycle if you want to go with them a year just leave it as it is two years you can click that that's 24 months or three years but i would advise and recommend you to choose the 12 months billing cycle and after that you click on continue but there are some additional services they offer here if you need that, you can choose or you can go with it. I will recommend you to go with this one because they're going to protect your website from hackers. Because this website, if this website is a WordPress website, the website you are building is a WordPress website, then you need this one. Okay. But if it is not a WordPress website, then just forget about it. The next one is Google Analytics. And the final one is they'll put your website on google like search engines after building this website it will not be on search engines automatically you need to submit it manually okay so they can do that for you but if you don't need any of these services just forget about it and then click on continue perfect now it will, it will take you to a domains config page or configuration page now below are some additional um services you need you may need to add to your domain name the first one is dns management forget about that the second one is id protection i will recommend this one okay but email forwarding forget about it now let me explain what id protection is now after you register your website name your details are going to be stored in what is called DN, uh, DNS database or name uh, records. Okay. Now people can go ahead and view your data, the, your details, and use that to spam you. Okay. It's five dollars per year. If you need it, you can add it to the cart and then continue. But if you don't need it, forget about it and continue but i will recommend you to choose it 
because it is going to save you a lot of save you from or reduce amount of email spams okay after that click on continue now here we are on review and check out page this is where i'm going to be giving you the coupon code to use to get 50 percent off now scroll down and then enter the coupon code here which is 250 okay so so you enter tube 50 after that click on validate code perfect now promotion code accepted your order has been updated now you are paying seven almost 18 dollars instead of the 35 dollars okay but bear in mind that next year you will be renewing it for 48 dollars and this price will not increase you are the price is locked okay even if they are to increase their pricing those who are already in this price range will not be affected whatsoever but for now you are paying 18 dollars and then you click on checkout fantastic now enter your details that's your checkout details you enter your first name your last name your email your phone number your company name street your city your country and most importantly you enter your password here remember to take good note of your password because this is the password you will be using in order to log in to your hosting account after that you choose your preferred payment option if you want to pay with bitcoin and cryptocurrency you can choose that here but paystack is always my preferred method of payment because it works well in my country after that i'll click on or i'll click here to accept to the terms of service and then click on complete order once i click on complete order the payment method will be prompted and i'll enter my payment details or my card info and then my account will be created and you'll be redirected to your hosting dashboard so i'll take you to your hosting dashboard and show you what is in your hosting dashboard and how you can manage your hosting dashboard as well as how you can build this amazing website i'm super excited if you are new to the channel or you're already enjoying this tutorial then remember to subscribe to the channel okay so after placing an order you will be redirected to a page just like this and this is your hosting dashboard okay so on top here you can see one service and you also see one domain name in my case i have zero domain because my domain name is a, a an external domain name okay that's why you are seeing one zero here but you should have something like one service and one domain name here okay now you see your active service here okay shared hosting which is go basic and your domain name here in my case i have a standard plan with my host so that's why you're seeing something like it. but in your case you should have something like go basic okay now you can click on it and it will take you to a page just like this okay now let me walk you around and show you what this or this page your dashboard is made of so your left contains an overview of those or various modules the first one is a link to cpanel so if you look if you click here it will take you to cpanel now if you don't know what cpanel is or this is your first time hearing cpanel don't worry let me explain so a cpanel is a control panel the c stands for control 
so control panel so this is where you're going to be managing your website files as well as your website itself okay so you're going to be managing your website files and be creating a lot of things in your hosting and below are some quick shortcuts with your hosting account you will be able to create your email account now if you're running a business you need something like your own uh something like support at your website name.com and not gmail okay make sure you are serious with your business and then come out with a business domain name so this way you're going to find that here okay so you can click here and create a business email for yourself if you don't know how to do it i'll be showing you guess in a moment how to do that for yourself so guess bear with me now let me take you to the top now the next one is a link to your email account your inbox it's called web mail and the next one is maybe you want to change password you want to upgrade or downgrade your hosting package or you want to request for cancellation now the middle contains your package and your domain name and that is your go basic plan and your domain name if you click on this link it will take you to your primary domain name okay now you can click on this or on the actual link now below are some add-ons okay so maybe after purchasing hosting you forgot to add certain uh, services here you can now click on it and then add it to cart and purchase it okay so you can do this add it to cart and then click on purchase if you forgot of that during the uh, hosting registration so this gives a reminder you have something like that now here are your quick shortcuts backups email forwarders autoresponders file manager now let's let me take you to cpanel so this is where we're going to be spending most of our time doing okay working with cpanel after you order your hosting and your domain name your website will be will look like this index of it means your website is currently empty there's nothing there to render okay on the browser don't worry don't panic and you only get or you only see this after some five hours or sometimes it may take up to 24 hours before you see something like this do not panic give you some time it is undergoing what is called uh, domain propagation okay now let me take you back and then we'll click on lock into cpanel and this will take us to cpanel okay perfect now this is cpanel and this is where you're going to be controlling your website files and a lot of things backups security your php version okay but because we are going to build this website using wordpress i would like you or uh, you have to click on this search box and type wordpress okay or software okay so software and you see the second option software close apps installer click on that one okay so just click on it we need software close apps installer to install a content management system called wordpress and wordpress is a cms that's content management system it is a platform we're going to be using to build our website without coding so we can build websites without coding, without touching a line of code thanks to wordpress now click on install perfect now make sure you choose your domain name your url okay so you leave it as it is but here with the indirectory option make sure you clear it okay leave everything as it is scroll down a bit you can see site settings below enter your website name okay but because my website is going to be a, a dental clinic website i'll enter something like solo lab okay so this is going to be my website my business name so that's 
solo lap and in the side description you can describe it so you can see maybe a dental so something like dental clinic website or site okay go ahead and enter your own site description there now to your right enter your admin username and your admin password these are going to be your login details so you need to enter a very strong password and a very strong username if not your website may get hacked because this is a web a uh, wordpress website so you need a strong one also if you think you may not be able to properly uh, secure your wordpress website then remember to come here and then click on let my host protect your wordpress site from hackers okay so you just choose that there and then click on purchase and activate and then you have it activated for you good now enter your admin and password and not forgetting of your admin email address after that you scroll down 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 and then click on install okay so we'll click on install and it will go ahead and install this content management system this software on our domain name so it's loading I have a poor internet connection today. Let's give it some time. It will load. And congrats. The software was installed successfully. Okay. So the first link happens to be your website address. This is what you're going to be giving to people. Okay. Good. So this is going to be your business link. Now, the next one is going to be your administrative URL. This is where you're going to be controlling your website, okay? This is where you're going to be creating your website pages, designing your website, updating your website, and a lot of things. So we need to go to the WordPress dashboard in order to manage our website. Welcome to WordPress uh, dashboard. So this is where we're going to be managing our website. Now, this part of the tutorial, I'll be walking you around, explaining various areas of the dashboard, the areas you need to know about your WordPress dashboard, as well as some important settings you need to do on the site. So, on the interface here, you can see it is currently busy or messy, okay? It's not attractive so on top here you can see screen option click on it now make sure you deactivate or you deselect everything i don't always like my dashboard to be busy like this and then you clear it so now you have a clean dashboard to work with with no promotions and nothing of that sort now let me show you the things you need to know about your dashboard you can see here pages this way you'll be able to create new pages on your website okay so your website is going to be made of pages so you can add new pages and i can click here to view all the pages you currently have on your website okay As I said, I have a poor internet connection. Now, these are the pages that are already on the website. So, you can click here. Right now, we want to delete these pages. Okay. Perfect. We have deleted the pages. Now, you can click on top here to create your own pages. 
we deleted these pages because they came with WordPress. We don't need that. We need to create our own pages. Okay. Now the next thing we need to know about WordPress dashboard is appearance. Now with appearance, you have teams. If this is your first time using WordPress, let me give you a one minute explanation of a team. Now a team is nothing but a software that changes the look, the appearance of your website. So depending on the website you want to build, there are some themes you need. So if you want to build an e-commerce website, there's a theme you use to build that will give you an e-commerce look. But because we are going to be building a clinic website, a dental clinic or any health sector uh, website, we will need a certain theme that will give you that kind of features those kind of features now we have paid teams and we have free teams but in this video we're going to be using a free team okay now the next one is plugins and with plugins you have add new you can add a new plugin to your website and you can view the already installed plugins the plugins you have installed on this website okay now we can go in there and click on install plugins and currently we have two plugins these plugins came with wordpress we installed wordpress with these plugins we don't need them we need to also delete these plugins so make sure you click here and then apply to delete these plugins good perfect now Let's go back to the teams and let's go inside there and I'll show you something. We still need to delete some particular teams. Okay. So always make sure you have one team active on the website. Okay. So we want to delete this, but currently this is active. Okay. The 2022 team is already, is currently active, but this one is not active. And how do you know it is not active below? You can see activate. That means it is not active. It is not active this one too is not active so just click on it like this and below you can see delete click on delete click on delete and on top click on okay perfect likewise the next one so you click on it click on delete and on top click on okay good now we have one team active on the website and that is good. So currently we have one team with zero plugins. Now the next one is users. This is where you're going to have a list of users. If your WordPress or your website is going to be uh, accepting new signups, then this is where your users are going to be users profiles. Okay. You can add users manually. You can view user profile. You can also view all users. We have tools and this one, let's forget about it for now because it's not necessary in this part of the video. Now settings, this is very important. So you can go to settings and then go to general. So this way we're going to be managing the general settings of your website, your website behavior. Okay. Perfect. Now, during WordPress installation, when we were installing WordPress, there was an area we entered our site title, our site description. You can see that if you can remember, this is where you'll be able to change your admin email. If you don't like this, you can change your own admin email. If your website is going to be accepting new registration, make sure you click here. Anyone can register and then go down below this page and click on save changes. Can change your time zones your time format date format and a lot of things on the website as well as your site language after that don't forget to cl click on save changes the next one is reading but for writing forget about it for now so you click on reading perfect now reading here you'll be working with this part of the website if it is a 
blogging site okay but for now we need to click here like if you click here it will discourage search engines from indexing this site okay which is not a good thing so make sure you leave it as it is and then save changes okay but very later in the tutorial i will be we will come back here to set our home page as well as our blog page now discussing if your website is a blogging website this way you're going to be managing your comments and other things media this way your website files are going to be as well as permalink so with permalink let's go inside there and i'll show you what permalink is or what permalink does on the website Okay, so with permalink, this defines the website URL structures. So a website like this, the one we are just creating, if you choose the first one plain, your website is going to have some ID attached to it. Your website is going to be like this, https or www dot your website name dot com forward slash some kind of ID we don't need that if you choose the next one your website pages will contain the date you created those pages we don't need it so what we always do in this part is you click on post name because your website is going or this is a normal website link structure the website is going to have your website name or website address forward slash the page name and not these weird things after that you scroll down and click on save changes perfect now permalink structure updated we are now good to go okay so at this part of the video we are now going to install our team Install our plugins and then our pages, our menus, and start building our website. If you're excited, I'm excited. Let's get the tutorial going. In this part of the video training, we are going to install our team and our plugins. Okay, so to install your team, hover on appearance. And click on teams good now on top click on add new inside this search box type Astra but we are lucky enough to have Astra just beneath this page so you see Astra because of its popularity so just click on install and wait for it to install Perfect. Astra is installed. What next? We need to activate it. So anytime you install a team or a plugin, you have to activate it in order for it to work. Okay. So click on activate. Perfect. Now our team is activated on top is a recommendation it is recommending us to install some plugins called astra as a uh, starter template okay so you click on start get started good now click here to go back perfect now we have installed our plug-in our team and our starter template plug-in okay now click on teams again good now we have two teams on the website as the team is activated but the default team is deactivated on the website so just click on the 2022 plug-in team and then click on delete to delete this team.
it is always recommended to have one team active on the website good now let's go back to plugins and then go to installed plugins and as you can see this is the plugin we installed called starter template there's yet one plugin we have to install and that is elementor so we're going to be using elementor in conjunction with starter templates to build our website after that click on recommended now when you scroll down you should see elementor if elementor is not there you can type it here elementor okay so type elementor okay click on install now good click on activate perfect so currently we have two plugins with one team you always need one team what next we need to create our pages okay so go to pages hover on all pages And right now or currently we have zero page we don't have pages now on top click on add new perfect now here you have to add your page name so the first page happens to be let me take you back to the website the demo website good let's scroll to the top so the first page happens to be our home page okay so we go back and type home like this click on publish and click on publish perfect our page is published we're good to go now on top here click on edit with elementor so click there now elementor is a page builder we use to design websites without touching the code itself okay thanks to elementor we can build website within minutes good now we're on the home page now this is elementor page builder to your left you can see this starter template thing. click on it perfect now to your left you can see this drop down click on it and click on re okay now because we are building a dental clinic website or a health center website we're looking for a template that will look similar to that so that we can customize it instead of building our own from scratch so scroll down and there's a particular template i want us to use so when you scroll down you can see diagnostic lab this is the uh, template i want you to use okay so in this video we will be using this one okay. so click on it good the only one we need is the home page okay but the rest forget about them okay so in this part of the video we are going to import only the home page but the rest we're going to 
do it our own on our own okay so you click on the home like this and you can preview it and see how it looks like okay and already this looks similar to our website guess that we've added i've added some colors and some uh, motion effects to the uh the template okay so once you are there on top you can see import template okay so let's click on import template and wait for it this template will be imported on our current page which is home and you can see on top here home okay now go ahead and reload the page and it should be imported successfully okay And as you can see, this is the template and it was imported successfully. Now to your left, you can see update. Just click on update to update the whole page. Okay. Perfect. What next? We need to create our menus. Okay. Our menus here just like we have on our demo site so we have book appointment our services about us and testimonial after that we will work on our navigation area and give it some color as well as our logo good so to do that you need to go back to your wordpress dashboard so you can click here and then click on dashboard and you should be re you should be redirected to a page like this now go to appearance and then menus click on it And this is where you create your menus. First is your menu name. So you have to enter your menu name. I'll enter menu one or first menu or primary menu. This time, let's enter something like main menu. Okay, so let's say main menu like this. And below your display location, where do you want to display your menus? In our case, we want to display it on our primary area, the primary menu area. And we click on create menu. Perfect. The next thing we, ha we have to do or need to do is to assign our pages to our menus. So you click and right now, currently we have only one page. So you just click on the page and click here, add to menu. Just click on it and it will be added to our menu so we have one menu but we need to add other menus and these menus let me take you back to the demo you see these menus the rest of the menus are anchor menus and they are not linking to any page okay when i click on it it takes me directly to a certain portion of the site you can see that they are called anchor so we'll go back to the menu and this time we're going to create a custom link so you click on custom link and this time we're going to assign a hashtag and then just give our menu a name so this menu we are giving it 
book now if i can remember okay book now book appointment so I'll take you there and type book appointment like this and click on add to menu perfect our menu is added the next menu is our services so you go back and on the same page the custom link area just assign an empty link and then enter our services okay just like this and then click on add to menu good our next menu is about us as well as testimonial so just come about us click on add to menu and finally testimonials or reviews so testimonials click on add to menu good now let's say you want this menu to be on top of or above the book appointment menu you simply click on it and drag it to that area and leave it just like this and that's how you arrange your menus or you want this menu to be a drop down in relative to this menu so something like this so it will be a drop down but in our case i don't want that i want it to be like this just like on our demo website and finally you click on save menu okay click on save menu and our menu is saved successfully now let's view our website to see so you go back there and you can see we have our menus just like our demo website but we still have a lot of work to do and that is we need to assign our home page so you go back to the menus area and this time around click on settings and then point hover on settings and then click on reading now click on static page like this and then choose your home page right now we don't have a block page so just leave it like that as it is and we'll come back to it later click on save changes and settings saved okay now let's go back to the website and reload it and because we have assigned our home page the website home page will look different and as you can see it's not looking like this but we still have a lot and serious work to do but for now we should be focusing on our navigation area okay so to do that or to customize your navigation area you have to click on customize so click there good and here we are let's wait for it to load perfect now we need to click on header builder because we are building our header that's where our navigation is so click here 
and the first one happens to be your site title and logo if you want to upload a logo just click there and you can upload your website logo but i want to use my name solo lab i want to leave it as it is just like my demo website just like this but if you have a logo design then you can click here choose your logo and it will replace the name next is design okay so design now you can give your logo your text color so because this is a text i can give my text color so i want to assign my i want to give my text color so i can click here and then choose my text and it will change to white I will choose blue and you can see so that's where you manipulate your logo color but right now because my background is white I can't achieve that effect because if I do my back my logo will disappear so for now let me go back like this and then blue is a transparent header function so i want to work with my transparent my header okay so i'll click on it to make it transparent good now click on toggle this on so that your header will be transparent and you can manipulate with it after that click on design and you can see your header is transparent now you can give your header or your navigation area a background color or a background overlay to do that click here choose your color in my case i want to choose green but a darker one for now i'll leave it as it is and as you can see already it is looking similar to this now i can work i can go back and work on my logo color as well as my menus color because they don't appear nice on the green uh background so i simply click on published and below you can see menu color so we want to work with our menu color so this time we are choosing white i will choose white now our menus now have a white color but still we have to work with our overlay so we we'll make it a little bit darker not this good so we want it to be like this that way our menu color our menus will stand out let's click on publish again good now let's scroll back and click here to go back perfect this time around we'll click on our logo again and I now have the chance to change my logo to white so i click here and then choose my white but looking at my logo here you can see that it's a little big uh bit bigger so how do we increase the size of our logo it's very simple make sure You scroll down a bit and then you can see title font size you can increase it to 45 or use this slider to manipulate with it and if you are satisfied with it at some point you leave it as it is and then make sure you click on publish
perfect so at this point in time we are done with our navigation area so we can close everything here and then view our website so i'll come back here and then open my website in a new tab and i should see my navigation area looking similar to my demo website and that is good you can see that so after going through this video training you should be able to work with elementor as well as the astra team to build your own website hey guys i hope you are enjoying the video I'm currently working on another video idea, website design idea that will teach you step by step by step on how to build your own classified listing website. This video is going to be great. You wouldn't want to miss it. So if you're not part of the family yet, you're going to miss a lot. Why not join the community where I show you different ways on how to build websites for yourself, your business, your clients that's enough let's get back to the tutorial okay i appreciate hey guys in this part of the video we are now going to be customizing our home page to make it look similar to our demo website just like this okay so go back to your home page and on top you can see edit with elemental Elementor is a page builder we use to build our home pages, our pages. So you click on that and it is taking us to Elementor page builder and we're going to edit that current page. So you wait for it to load. Now the page builder has successfully loaded. Now on top, you can see this uh edit area in this edit section click on it and to your left you can see the edit panel we have layout style and advanced please click on style After that, delete this image, okay, so, and it is under background, okay, you can see background, click on it to delete it. Good. We have deleted the background image. We have deleted the background image. Now we have to choose a background color. Okay, we don't need a background image. We need background color. But look at the home page, our demo website. We have a background color of blue. So we go back there and then this time around we want to choose a background color. For that matter, we we'll click on color. So you click here to choose your color. And we choose our blue color and then we we'll choose blue. But make sure that your blue is somehow darker, okay? Or a deep blue. After that, we need to change our text color so to do that you simply click on the text or the particular text you want to change just like this or you can click on this pencil icon here and to your left again you can see style just click on the style after you click on style you can see text color now looking at our demo website our text color here is somehow green so we go back to the sides and then we choose our color 
So we'll click on it. And then we choose or we pick our color. I would like to pick this color and then you copy the color code because we want our website to have a consistent design. So we need to choose one color code. After that, you can click outside the box and your color will be changed. The same way you do for this heading area. So you just click on it and you can see the edit panel is open for you to work with. Now you click on style. After that, you click on the text color. And this time we're going to paste our color code. I'm sorry, because this is not going to be green we need a white color so we drag it to that particular area and we leave it there and it will give us our white color let's go back to the demo website and we can see that our text color here too is white so you come there and then Click on that area or this pencil proceed to style click on the text color and this time choose white perfect always remember to update the changes so you click on update change and the changes will be saved on the site good next one is our menus so we go back to the website and we can see our color is this font with a black text so we come back here and then we click on the menu after we click on the menu click on style Click here to choose the color and then you choose your color or you pick your color here. This time I want to pick this color, something like this. And our text color on top, you can see text color. So you click here and then choose a black color. Perfect. Now the next one is our other menu, which is the learn more menu. So we click on it just like this. And it will be loaded. Now you can change the text from learn more to see more. You can assign your link here. So maybe you want it to point to a certain page on the website. This is where you paste the link. But here we want to style the color. So you click on style. And then we go back to our demo website. And see what is there. So we have our text color white so we go back to the website and we want to make sure our text color is white so you click on 
it the color picker and make sure you click on white or you choose white if you know the color code you guess you simply paste it here which is f f f f okay after that don't forget to update the changes and that is it so i'll drag it to the top and you can see the color has changed and then you click on update and the page or the changes will be updated now we are done with the left part the next thing is our image okay so you simply click on it or you click on the column editor like this now let's say you want to add a hover effect or a background color to that column this particular image you go to style and then you see background you choose your background color so you click on classic and then you choose a background color and it will be applied to this image or you want to add a background overlay you click here and add a background overlay to it but in this video we only want to change or work with our image the image itself so you click on this pencil icon or you guess you simply click on the image itself okay now to your left you can see choose image below you can see choose image so you click on it and a page like this will be prompted asking you to upload your image if you have your image in the your website gallery then you simply choose that but if you have it outside this page or maybe on your pc you simply click on upload click on select files and then make sure you go to wherever you have that particular image you want to upload so you click i have it on desktop so i'll click on desktop and then i'll look for my image and this happens to be my image and i'll click on open and wait for it and the image will be uploaded successfully perfect the image is uploaded successfully so we click on insert so we click on insert and it will replace the image we had on the website earlier now we want to make it circular because look at the demo website it is circular it is not as you can see that it is circular so you go back to the page and then click on advance after click on advance you scroll down and you can see mask so you click on mask and toggle this on After toggling it on, you see a circular effect. Remember to update the changes and everything will be saved on the website. Okay. Perfect. Now you can go ahead and view your website and see how it looks. So we we'll go ahead. Let's go and view our website. Let's reload the page. Now click here, you hover here, you 
let's wait for it perfect so we hover here and then click on visit site okay And as you can see, our background color has changed and our image to a circular. Our text and the changes we just made has taken effect. But there's a problem we have right now. You can see this big space on top. We don't need it. We need it to look similar to our demo website. We don't want to have space on top, just like this. So we need to add what we call margin top and it will push it on top to the top okay so let's do that now you can see the demo website it is pushed to the top so let's go back to our current website the website we are building we click on it and that's elemental now we're going to, we're looking for margin top okay we are looking for margin top so to your left you can see this black panel and on top you can see layout but make sure you are currently on the image because we want to push this image to the top so if you if you are not there make sure you click on this pencil okay and it will take you to this portion of the editor and on top you can see layout click on it now margin you can see this is top so margin top make sure you enter negative 115 but before that you have to unlink it before entering the negative 115 so make sure you empty everything before okay so let's empty everything now enter negative one one four one one five so negative one one five you just you do the same thing for this uh, color so you click on it okay Make sure you click on it and then you click on advance don't forget to unlink it and then enter the same negative one one five and everything will be pushed to the top okay so that's margin top we have margin right button and left okay after that you simply save the changes good next up is this portion of the website you can see this part of it has a background color black okay so we go back to the website our tutorial website the actual website the one we are building and you can see here it currently it has a background of white so click on it go to style and you can see secondary color change it to black after that click here and click on black but the problem is some portion of it is white and some portion is black so we have to go back to the site 
and forget about the secondary color so we change the secondary color back to white okay like this so the secondary color is white whilst the primary color is black which is on top perfect now remember to save the changes so you click outside the box and then click on update good now let's go back to our demo website and you can see all the heading the each two tag which is this 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 and that they have different color so we go back to the website scroll up and we change this color from white to a little bit green so you click on style text color and we choose our green click here and we are good to go now for the sake of consistency let's copy this color and we'll use that color to apply to other areas of the site so we click here or this pencil and then click on style after that click on text and paste that color there we do the same for this so we click on the text come to style click on the text color paste your color code and not forgetting of this one now you click on style click on text color because currently it is black and then we select everything and paste it there perfect now what is left we need to change this background color to deep blue just like our demo website you can see this color is deep blue so we go back to the page and you can click here go to style choose background click here choose your blue and then choose it if it doesn't take effect then make sure you click on this edit uh, column go to style and this time change this one to to blue deep blue and it will not take effect and you can see it looks similar to this one except for our text here okay so i'll take you back and then we'll click on that text Now this time, click on style, and we are changing the icon color from white to blue to green, as well as the text. So scroll down, and you can see content, click here. 
and this time we're changing the content color to green perfect now we'll leave our telephone number color to white okay but in case you want to change it that's this is where you find it so it is add under the description color if you change this it will affect the telephone number after that you click on update perfect there's still one thing we need to do which is the start now we are changing this text to email us okay so email us or email now and here you enter mail to like this like this and make sure you pass your email address here to your email that way anytime someone clicks here it will take the person to this email and remember to save the changes now let's check what is next so the next thing is our about us area so we are also changing that background color to blue as well as our heading color and our text okay so let me take you back now we scroll down and on top we click here now click on style this time we want to delete what is in here okay so delete this image perfect now we are choosing a color so on top now let's pick our blue color but let's make sure our color looks like or remains consistent throughout something like this this okay let's not vary them now next is our heading but we are changing this one to about us so about us and we're changing the color to white white scroll down and click on this text Click on style and change our text color to something like this. Okay. Scroll down again and click on this text. Click on style. And we are changing this color to something like this. Now, finally, we're changing. Let's say this is the CEO or the administrator of the uh your facility so you enter the name here and then change the color to something like this perfect now the next thing we need to do is to work with our or work on our review area okay this one so we need to change some colors as well as the figures okay so let's take inspiration from the site now you can see here we have different colors blue like this 
let's go back to the site and this time we're changing the five star to something like gold okay so i'm giving it 5.9 star rating and on top you can see style you can change your text color here which is this one but we want to change our stars the color of the stars okay so you can see color change your color to something like gold like this perfect now this one too we need to change the google symbol so this is where you enter your reviews your ratings description okay so you can see thousand reviews whatever you want to do and you can give it a link if someone clicks on it it will take them to that page now let's click on style because we want to style the google icon after that you can click on the content itself and this time if you can change the color of this uh, figures so let's give it darker blue something like this good now the description you can give it a darker or black now on top is your icons so click on it and then click on primary color now let's give it this color and then we choose that color and perfect now we are done with that part let's level this one so you click on this pencil you can change the title and description this 4.86 you can see it's here you can paste a link here but here we want to style it so you click on the style change its color to darker blue something like this and let's go into the content so click on content and this time we're changing the heading or the title color so click on the color and let's give it darker blue just like this one okay so something like this good now we give our description color which is pure black perfect now we are done it's like with the facebook reviews area or it can be facebook likes or follow followers click on the pencil again go to style and remember to change your figures here okay enter your own values now on top style change the color and we know facebook to have a blue color something like this something like this okay now go into the content area the title color change it to something like a darker blue like this perfect now let's change our description color so we click on it and pick black good and we are done on this on that area now it's like with this portion of the site so let's go back to our demo website and see what is there so that is our services okay so you go back click on it and change this to services remember to click on top click on style and change it to something like this 
click on this text enter your own text in my case i want to reduce it good next is our the services you offer okay so click here enter the service you offer as a health center okay maybe diagnostic test or whatever enter it there click on style click on the color and then change it to your own colors now let's go back to the demo website and let's see what is here okay so we're using these colors let's go back do the same thing for this one but before that let's change this color to something like white so that it will be visible and you drag it to the top perfect now we're done with that one it's left with the second service you offer enter it here click on style text color change it to this color this this one and then you click on the description click on style and this time we're choosing white like this we do the same thing for the final service like this so these are the main services you provide as a health practitioner or a clinic okay now click here and finally we we'll click on style and then we we'll choose the color to white and finally we we'll click on update good now let's go back to the site and scroll down and we have why people trust us okay so we're going to do the same thing for this area so we'll go back there click on it why people trust us i believe this color is white let's let's let me, let's see and that is it so it's white click on it choose white and then we choose our we change this color to something like this okay it looks like apple apple color okay so but in your case you should choose your uh your your own colors okay your own colors let's see your facility uses something like we know you know we all have our brand colors okay but your facility may use uh maybe pink or yellow or whichever color you use you can change that there so i'm only showing you where you can find those things okay so you click there and change it to your own colors okay and i'll paste this color there i'll do the same thing for the rest of the text okay so style sorry okay so you click on it style and then you go to content click here to change it to whites something like this and the last one is the description which will definitely be like apple color like this the same thing you click on it click on style go to content click color white description apple click here style description content title color white description change it and finally this one remember to enter your own text your own text this is demo text okay so click on style then scroll down and click on content pick your color i'm choosing white choose your own color 
click on color here which is the description box or description area and then paste your own color there and finally i will click on this button okay okay this play video button okay so this is where you can link to um let's say your your facility video you have a video explaining what you offer okay so you can click on it and then change this color here on top and then you can see icon text you can change that there okay so let's say you want to change your icon color to something like this let's do it again like this you can see that and this way you change your text color from you can also change your text color there okay click on list and good but let's see what is here okay so we have uh, the background itself green so we need to do that okay and the icon itself is white okay so okay so for the sake of the tutorial video let's send it back well you know we need to i'm copying what is here okay so the icon is white so let's send it back to white so the icon is white send it back to white like this but the background is rather green or apple color okay so you click on advance and we go to background so scroll down click on background and you can see this blue color change it to your apple color so choose your color here or you pick it so you click it and choose your color okay now click on update let's continue scrolling this color text color click on it and let's see what is on our demo website okay so we have a deep blue so you click on style click on text color and choose our deep blue like this our darker blue and then i want to work on my description i'm reducing it i don't need this big or large text this is okay for me now you can change your images okay you can change these images so you simply click on it and change it okay it is simple so after clicking on it you can see a gallery you can click here to upload your own images okay to upload your own images good so let's close it and then let's scroll down and we are on this area of the site now let's see what is at the left on the demo site we are changing this color this color and this background okay so we come back here click on white people what people see about us change the color change it to deep blue like this and something like this is okay now let's click on here and this time we are changing our background color so you click on style and background you can see background color is currently gray so we need to change it to something like this and then click on your color choose your color 
okay so something like this is okay now next up is our text so on top just click on the text itself click on style but make sure you enter you change the name here okay you can change the name to something like maybe solomon okay solomon you can change it click on style click on text color and this time our text color is let's see so everything here is white okay so let's go back sorry so we go back there and then we click we choose our color white so you drag it to the left and it is white now we click on the text itself click on style and this time click on text color choose white good now scroll down a bit you can see some five star ratings here just click on it you can enter your ratings and everything here but this time we want to click on style color and we're changing it to something like this like this so it will be visible in the eyes perfect now next up is this icon so click here go enter a link click on style and then make sure you choose your primary color so you click here now you can clear it before so you clear it perfect now click on or pick your own color so you click i want to choose this color for it and perfect now let's click on update good now let's scroll down a bit and everything here to me looks good except for the icons okay so you guys click on the icon itself and change the colors so now i hope you know how to uh change your colors because it is now self-explanatory it's not difficult again for you so you go ahead and do that and you can change your stars to gold like this and then you choose your gold click here perfect now the same thing applies to this one you just click on it choose your color click on primary color clear it before choosing or changing it so you change it and then click here likewise your stars so you click on style change it to gold here perfect now facebook click here So click on it after that style click here and then clear it before changing it to dark blue so something like this it's okay and finally we click or we change our stars just click on it click on style and then we choose our color and this happens to be gold so you click on gold perfect we are set now here you can change your images here okay so you simply click on it as well as their names so after click on it on top you can see the text or the content itself so you can change the content here choose or change this person okay so this particular person you can change it to the actual person so you choose the image and then update the changes you can enter the person's name here the title okay good remember to update the changes like this
the next thing is your team area okay so click here and change your point lab to your facility name okay so I will, i'm naming it solo lab so solo lab lab like this expert team and i can change that color here and let me look at my demo site because i'm using that as a reference point and there's a background here blue and the text itself okay so i'll change this text to go to style click on text color and then i will change it not forgetting of the background so you click on it this six dots click on style and then you can see your color white here click here and then choose your background like this but make sure it is somehow consistent it looks like those colors you have already on the side okay and not forgetting of this description okay so i want to reduce the text a little bit like this and i'll change the color to white so i'll click here and change the color to white like this and good now i can edit or change the their names to my own names and then change the text color to darker blue okay so come back here click on the text color darker blue something like this the same thing applies to this one you can change the name here click on style click on text color darker blue something like this and finally the last person who is the laboratory technician you can change the name here style it change the color to darker blue like this like this now you can also change their their rule okay this is the head of laboratory department okay you can change the color on top here if you wish now remember to update the changes and we are good to go now on top let's go back to our demo site and see what is next so we now have our newsletter area as well as our contact info so we click on elemental and this time we want to delete this section of it so we click here to delete it perfect now the next thing is we want to give it some color so you click on top here good now let's go back to the site the demo site and it is blue so let's go back here and change it to blue and then which is a darker blue okay so click here and perfect now we'll change our text color but if you don't want to change it you can leave it as it is to me it looks nice but for the sake of the tutorial i need to change it to this okay to look like this so now you can click on this pencil like this so you click on it and click on style and this time our primary color we're changing it here okay now below is content area so click on content and the first one happens to be your icon okay so you can change your icon to something like this okay so this one is the title itself sorry but on top is the icon so click on top then choose your primary to this okay perfect now it is looking similar to this good now let's uh change this background to 
something like this okay so let's go back there and then click on top here now click on style perfect now click on color and then update it to your preferred color good and this color looks lighter okay so i want it to be somehow deeper okay so you choose a darker color okay so you click here and drag it to the button and make sure it is your preferred color after that you can change your text here so you just click on this pencil and you can change your address here your actual address you can also do the same thing here click on the pencil change your telephone number likewise your email address here and that is it after that you click on update now don't forget to come back here on top and we will be uh, putting an a newsletter uh, thing here okay so okay so we need to remove this image placeholder thing here so you have to click on top here after that scroll down you see background overlay click on it perfect now click on delete good we have deleted that now click on update changes okay so click on update changes perfect now we're good to go now we will uh currently our web page does not have uh motion effects so we're now going to add motion effects to this as well as our button so that anytime someone click uh, clicks on it it will take the person directly to that portion of the site okay so just stick around and i will do that in a minute okay so at this point in time we are now going to add motion effects to our web page okay so currently our website does not have motion effects so we need to do that so in order to add a motion effect you need to click on this column thing here okay and to the left you can see motion effects in your list so you click on the motion effect and then choose your motion effects but i need it to slide in left okay so i'll scroll down and choose slide in left so immediately i choose slide in left you can see that it is sliding in from the left hand side you can do the same thing to this one maybe you want it to slide in right you can do that and click on advance from there click on motion effects and this time around click on it uh, and this time around let's choose slide in right okay you can do that slide in right good so this slides in left and this slides in right okay after that you update the changes now let's scroll down to this one so this is the one we need to work on so we click on edit color click on advance click on motion effects and this one to want to we want it to slide in from the bottom top okay so click here and then slide in up you can see that slide in up perfect so this is how you add motion effects to your website so you simply click on it just like this go to advance click on motion effects and this time slide in or maybe feet so there are a lot of things you can play with here so this one can be slide in down perfect you can see that good so that's how you add motion effects to your web page in case you are, you want to add motion effects to any element you simply click on it and add a motion effect to it good. so let's update the changes but finally i want to show you how to add a bounce in effect okay, something like this so that it will look attractive so let's just click on it and then go to advance now go to motion effects click on default and then make sure you choose bounce 
in okay so bounce in perfect so this is what i want you to add to your website and then you update the changes excellent now let's go back to our menus area so that we'll now start working on our menus all right all right so uh what we need to do is go back to the website so let's reload the page good so let's go to the, our dashboard and here we are on the dashboard please go to appearance go to menus now we want to work on our menus okay so click on menus perfect now you can see this custom menu okay this is not linking to any page we want to add an anchor uh function to it so just click on book appointment good now here make sure you leave the asterisk thing here and then add book okay so just add book to it so we will need this particular text this book thing to reference it when we get back to the home page okay okay so let's just do that in real time so now you have added book to it so that means anytime a user clicks on this menu it will take the user directly to that section of the web page now how to add that now let's go to so now that you can remember the url uh structure which is a uh it's an id so this is book okay so we'll go back to our web page good now let's go to that particular area so if a user clicks on book now okay or book appointment we want it to take the user to this particular area of the web page okay so so we need to add an anchor menu so you click here and then enter menu and we have menu anchor just drag it to the area you want it to be so maybe it's always advisable to put it on top here perfect now inside this box enter book where do we get this book from it is from the menu we set you see book perfect now let's we are done with that area so it's left with the our services so we click on the down arrow and put something there which is an id so service or services like this good now let's remove our s perfect so now let's go back to the home page uh the editing area now where can you find services now let's scroll where you see services we need to paste it there okay so services go back and click here on top here enter menu or anchor so menu menu and we have menu anchor on top so make sure you paste it somewhere here or here doesn't matter now enter services because so click on it and enter services like this perfect now where did we get these services it is from the anchor menu we set up this services do not enter the asterisk thing here only the name the id also we have to work on our about us so just add about so about then go back to the editing area where can you find about let's scroll back to the top and this is it now click here and then enter menu we drag it and drop it here somewhere below or above but in this case we want to leave it here it doesn't matter and you enter about perfect remember to update the changes okay now go back to the menu let's level the final one 
which is testimonial okay so click on testimonial and maybe you see testy testy this is okay you can also enter any id but make sure the ids do not they do not resemble okay you can have two about about okay you can also have two service service your ids must be unique let me show you what i'm talking about so you can have something like this about again if you have something like this this and this they will conflict okay so so you can enter testimonial like this and to be at the safer side you can just copy it okay so you can just copy it and paste it so let's send it back where can we find the testimonial area on the page the home page so let's scroll down and see where we can find it perfect so i think this area is perfect for that so let's we'll click here again good now enter menu perfect now we drag it to wherever we want it to be so here it doesn't matter perfect so here we can paste our id which is this and then update the changes now it's time for us to go and check our website okay and we'll say bye bye to this video but remember to save your menu if not it won't take effect so get save your menus perfect now let's open our menu in a new tab so open open now let's check our website so we click on it and you can see the motion effects it's already taking action good and when you scroll you can see some elements moving you can see that you can see that you can see that now let's scroll down to the button where i added the bounce effect you can see that now let's move back to the top and then check our menus and we'll see bye bye to this video so scroll to the top now if you click on book appointment you can see it's taking us to that area click on our services it's taking us to that area because these are your services as well as about us perfect but if you did not you did not uh, set the anchor menus well or you misspell something it may not work so good so this way you have successfully completed a full course on how to build a website for a dental clinic self health practitioner or a health facility okay hey guys thank you so much for completing this amazing and long tutorial video i'm super excited you have made it to this point well i have a project going on which is the first link in the description remember to be part of it i will be happy to see you take action bye bye and i will see you in my next videos where i'll be showing you how to build a lot of websites and amazing training just like this bye bye